What is up my crazy beautiful Vaticonians? My name is Vertico, you can call me V, and welcome to Jurassic World the game. I'm just going to adjust myself slightly, apologies for that. <laughs> Professionalism hits a new level. As you can see, we're back playing Jurassic World the game. Um, I have been playing it a bit and off and on, so I've got about 1032 SDNA. Nowhere near as much as everyone else, so I appreciate that. I am trying to, you know, fully envision, envision, en envelop myself into this game a bit more often um, but I come to you guys with a fantastic new piece of news or a fantastic little how-to if you will which we'll go on to later in the video the boiler just made a, a teaser noise it was like ooh, but it wasn't it didn't turn itself on which means I didn't have to cut wait wait it sounds like no it's all good <laughs> Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So I'm just going to grab my DNA. I've upgraded the building now, so I get 750 DNA every time I click it, which in a day means you can get 1,500, which means over a month of 30 days, you can get 45,000, which is nothing to shake a stick at. I think I did the maths right. Yes, I did. It's 45,000. <laughs> I don't need to click on the food because I've got max food. They released new things recently, like the badges. Um, they're pretty cool. I've got the Velociraptor because I... Didn't do anything extra bar than put a few things down just to make sure I could get the Velociraptor. Other than that, I'm happy with where I'm at. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and collect our free pack, which is surrounded by packs that cost real money, because that's not cool. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into a race, and then I'm going to explain my findings. Um, I would like to stress that these findings would have been a lot more effective two or three weeks ago when they were better but like everything that Ludia releases they don't check it before they release it and then they nerf it which is sucky <laughs> but hey ho um so let's find something that i've recently placed down you will do scappy mccappy or whatever i call you um <laughs> scaffinacidus that's it anyway it is a scaffinac it is a scaffinacidus so what we're going to do is we are going to get ready to start this bad boy. So on the count of three, we're going to race. If you haven't raced me before, what you need to do is you need to be in full screen, exit full screen, like the video in the time it takes me to get this guy to level 10. I will give you guys a head start because getting to level 10 is a piece of P. So count of three, three, two, one, go. Head start, me, go. Oh, I missed the button for a second there, which means you probably beat me. If you did beat me, comment down below. Remember, guys, the like does not need to stay on the video. You can take the like off if you feel the video does not deserve it. It's just our way of determining who's faster at doing things, which is always a fantastic thing to do. <laughs> anyway, an agility test today keeps... I don't know what it keeps away. Sanity, potentially? Who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into um, this how to if you will so you guys may notice that the trade now you can get custom trades i don't know what vip get differently i think we get three trades or something like that. i don't know i might be wrong completely but always keep an eye on the trades for bucks so the reason i'm telling you this is bucks are a lot rarer than they used to be um to get them you need to like like if you go to a pack for example let's have a look at these packs and we'll get onto this trode on tournament thing in jiggy at some point but anyway if you have a look at these packs as an example this claim your territory pack um, there are no bucks, which I didn't even prepare myself for, but has actually given me a hell of a giggle. Then you go to this pack, 25% to get 100, which sucks. Oh, a golden rewards pack. Let's have a look. 50% to get 100. Oh, it's an Ammonite pack. I've just got that messed up. Oh, I see. Something's, something. Oh, right. That's from the VIP exclusive. So 500 bucks. Yay. That's reasonable, even though it should be a lot higher. But 4%. 4%. That means you can open 100 packs and you'd get 2,000. As, as per the odds dictate, you probably might get more, you might even get less. But that's nuts, okay? So bucks are really, really valuable at this point. So what you want to do is you go into the custom trades, you find anything, okay guys? So you get three trades a day, and what I was doing before, I think they've nerfed it quite heavily now, um, was you can buy another trade for 250 bucks, and then you trade it for something that's valuable, that's over 250 bucks, and you make a small profit each time. Um, but if we go for an example while I'm in my free trades, um, we'll go for a Demetrodon, then we just go for cash. As you can see, we get a 214, which isn't a profit, so that one we know for future reference isn't good. Not that it would be in the future anyway, because I've now used it at least once. We'll go for Stixosaurus, we'll go for cash, 378. See, some of them still have a slight profit. We're not talking major profit, and if you use them again, they do go down. But still, for three free trades, you can look around 500 to 1,000 bucks a day. 
And if you think, oh, that's not loads, if we go back to the 30 day month, you're getting 30K or 15K, both of which are reasonable, okay? They are more than reasonable, plus the occasional buck you will unlock in the challenges. So that's not too bad. Um, but I, I've got to say, you know, um, I am really, really reproachful to sort of locking myself into this as a challenge, if you will, but I will. So what I'm going to do in the next coming months, I'm going to try and spend as minimum bucks as possible unless we get an awesome tournament or a chance to get the um, Indoraptor DNA even better. Oh, there's a better way of getting it, sorry. Then I'm looking to get at least, so if I if I calculate, you know, I can get 30,000 a month. Okay, we're in August, end of August, September, October, November, December. By the end of the year, I'm aiming to get 100,000 bucks. And you guys, I want you to race me, okay? If you've got a number around mine or less or a little bit more, I will take that. I want you to let me know how you get on with this and other ways of getting bucks. So I'm looking for every sort of comment you have down there every little sort of if you will like do you know when people ch exchange coupons and go oh go to this site you can get this for free or you know get 10 percent off of a 300,000 pound order you know i want stuff like that but on how to save or how to get better bucks so this video is all designed around that we'll do a sequel at some point in december once we actually hit our target if we hit our target and we'll review where we got to and why it got taken down um, because I don't doubt I won't hit the target, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to smash it because you're my crazy beautiful Verconians, and I believe in you. Anyway, let's talk about other things that the update has brought. Um, uh, I'll have a quick look to see if there's anything decent in here. Ooh, complete battle event. Clash of Titans gives me 16, so we're going to go do the Clash of Titans one. Absolutely. Um, but the update has brought these badges, so you go to here, you go to here, you look at your badges. I've only got 41 of 125. I know a lot of you have got a lot more tell me how much you've got i just want to know and for those that have hacked don't get me wrong i love your i love you too even if you're flawed in the count that you've hacked but at the same time i understand time is taken to play this game and if you recently joined it's it's an easy way i get that entirely but i want to know for those of you who haven't hacked how many badges have you got okay how many badges have you got and if you guys haven't checked out my twitter or instagram yet go to twitter or instagram available in the description and you can send me pictures of your parks pictures of your um badges and we're gonna have a little uh fan competition um there will be comments about it in the coming weeks in the uh, thing we're gonna be doing streams on sundays and we'll sort of emanate that fan com um, competition around that also we're gonna playing a few other games uh, i'm looking to get like five or six no, like eight plus a lie nine videos recorded today if i can if not i'll be over the next three days i'm looking to get nine videos so that i can just upload them daily and not have to worry about thinking oh i haven't got one recorded so i may not go do it because unfortunately guys i do still suffer from depression and that does affect you motivationally wise and it sucks because i freaking love recording i love all your comments but um anyway let's get right into it so it was clash of titans wasn't it what oh Oh, yeah, I'll go complete Clash of Titans. Absolutely, I say. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> right, I was like, oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, oh, that's me being a dingus. Right, Um, what's next? 1214 Rarity Rumble. You shall suffice, even though your rewards suck. And this is going to be taxing on me because I only have, like, two decent rare creatures. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's do what lies beneath because I actually have a chance, even if they are severely OP. And then we want to use you, and I think a prior trade on level 30. So I've actually got a um, a few sort of creatures that we've unlocked, um, or brought up in level-wise. So it's quite nice to see I've got a nice little mix across the board now. As you can see, I've not suffered massively from DNA. I went from like 800 from 50,000 to 490. Now I'm back up to 590. So it's not a real major loss. This is taking exceptionally long to load, isn't it? <sighs> it's frozen, hasn't it? Yep, I can tell that because the game audio shut off. So let's just do that. Retry. Oh, has the Wi-Fi gone down? Could that be it? I'm not even connected to the Wi-Fi, so that's not it. Oh, there we go. It crashed. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. I knew thy well. Okay, let's reload that. And hopefully it doesn't do that stupid thing where occasionally where it disconnects you from it. It says, y you didn't get what we wanted done. So we're not going to give it to you, <laughs> which means I don't even get a chance to go into the battle and resume it. And I've lost my creatures. Nope, I can resume it. Sweet. Okay, I was going to say, please don't crash again. Otherwise, we know that is broken. Anyway, um, I can survive, survive at least one attack from those herbivores. So I'm happy to just reserve it up here with Presto. Um, 
very, very slightly so I can survive. So we're going to go for uh, one block, two reserves. Hope he's going for a block. He did. Brilliant. We can still survive that one attack that he has if he decides to go for two. Uh, we're playing it smart for once, which I would like to say I can do. <laughs> Anyway, we want to really swap into Cerizinosaurus, even though he's got slightly less damage. The sole reason being is once he gets taken down, we go straight into Presto. So, three and oh, one reserve. One reserve really just helps me push it along when it comes into the um, one long with 2,500, which can kill me in two. Which means if he goes for three, in his mind he thinks he can kill me, because he can. But I still get a chance to wipe him out with Presto, which should only take two or three attacks. Uh, and then we can go for two reserves. And then his next attacks... He will go for three out of four of his attacks, one block, and we can swipe the floor with his Shangasaurus with our lovely prior Troda. And that is how I can prove I can think. Okay, guys? A lot of times playing while talking for me is difficult. But I found a workaround. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's working. So what I'm doing is I'm when I'm speaking, I'm looking up. But when I'm playing, I'm looking down. So it kind of sort of dissociates it for me, which actually really helps. So if any of you guys are playing this and recording it, and you are struggling from the same thing that I am, which I hear is quite common, um, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, so let's go ahead and spy note. Yeah, you're really not gonna do enough, are you? Let's just look at the fact it's got 10,000 health. So we'll go for Tango, we'll go for, ah, uh, there we go. I really need to work on Pterosaurs, that was my next one, wasn't it? Uh, we'll go for... Oh, I don't even think Terra Destroyer can do much here. So it's going to have to be Pterodactylus. Uh, and then we need a reasonable Carnivore, so we're going to go for a level 30... Nope. Yeah, level 30 Cerizinosaurus, because it's got reasonable health and a decent attack. We're going to go for a Reserve. Um, the Apatosaurus, level 98, is going to be a pain, because I didn't even look at its health like a numpty. And I know that's going to cause a lot of heartache. Oh my god, 4,000 attack! What is this heresy? Right, okay. Well, this has just brought a new challenge to it because I need to make sure Pterodactylus survives. And if they switch in, they've got a bonus which will kill him. So I have... No, they won't. They went for Patasaurus. Really? Really? Okay, well, that's fine by me. So we're going to go for... Uh, he's going to have three next turn. I can survive one. So two blocks, two reserves. Um, there we go, yep. So hopefully he goes for three here. No, he goes for one. Poop, which means I can now no longer determine what to do. So we cannot, under any circumstances, survive that um, amphibian. Oh, giddy aunt. Right, if you go for four, that's fine. Anything more? And we're backing out and going back in. Hmm. I actually haven't checked to see if the block glitch still works. So I'm kind of living on a whim at this point, but we have, like, sort of had this concern for the past 20,000 episodes. So who knows, it maybe should still work. <laughs> Please still work. Hallelujah. We didn't even go for any attacks, which is weird. I guess that means he's gone for reserves, because he didn't land a single attack, which means... We're going to switch in Cerizno. And then we're going to go for... Oh, I'm just about to sacrifice Cerizno, aren't I? Eh. Yep, he didn't go for any, which means he's got a metric ton of reserves built up. Which hopefully means we can take that reserve build up down... Huh. Well, we can. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that to happen. He's got one block, so two, three, four, five, two reserves. He didn't go for any blocks, and I kind of need all the action moves I need right now, so we're going to back out, go back in. Good giddy. Oh, that was painful. Right, okay. Um. Ugh. Ugh. Also, we've got a new game we're going to be playing. I don't actually know if it was on that back screen then. Um, it'll be an interesting one to play because it's like um, Jurassic World, the game meets uh, like Dragon City meets. Um, well, that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> but it's um, got aquatic hybrids in it, something this game still severely lacks. And they said till the end of the year we'll be looking for it, which is great. But we're approaching the end of the year. We're in the last, over the last half, we're in the last quarter. So, come on now. Don't tease. Tease me, tease me. I don't know what the rest of the song sounds like. In fact, I only know those two words. <laughs> Repeated twice. Okay, so down goes that pain in the back end. And I cannot stress that enough because that was infuriating. Right. Then we're going to go for a Segno, a uh, Indo No, and then a. Should we go for another Segno? Because we really don't have any other. Yeah, why not? 
I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not recording. I am recording another video. Crud. Well, I know I can't use these. <laughs> Whoopsie. Right. Also, this Clash of Titans event is really interesting. I wish I'd started from day one. I might actually have had a chance of getting the Trudon, uh, which is just free DNA to me, but, you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm a dingus. We just lost. Oh, god damn it. Right. Uh, no, right. Let's back out. That was dumb. That was super dumb. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is what I stopped doing what I was doing. Right, Corey, back to focus mentality. Bring yourself back in. We've lost one of them. We shouldn't have been losing him yet. So we need to go for... Okay, we can survive. One. Two. Right. Uh, I don't even think this is going to be sufficient, but... It will be enough to survive him. I'm hoping he goes for a attack here. He has. But the issue is, he goes straight back into a, um... Another herbivore. Which means we need to go for two attacks to kill him. And what we're we feeling? We're feeling two reserves or one block. One reserve. Two blocks. What we're we feeling, guys? What we're we feeling? Two blocks. Right. And let's just hope he... he let's just hope that what he's going to do is go for three attacks and we can survive it. We cannot survive it! Which means we're going to go back out and back in. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad the block glitch still works. Guys, if you haven't used a block glitch, all you need to do is make sure you've got at least one block back out the game. Go back in to the game and you will survive. As long as it's not your last dino, in which case you will survive. Or last creature, I should say. This means he's gone for several reserves. Which means we can expend the Indominus. Now that's a really dumb move. Uh, 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 oh, crud. Crud. He went for six. At this point, that's a reasonable loss. The reason I'm justifying that is I can kill him in oh crap three. <laughs> three. Three blocks. We'll call it quits there. I think he's got a reserve though. Am I thinking that correctly? No, I was wrong. Thank you. And we hope he goes for four. He's gone for four. Which means he's used up all his moves. And we can kill him. I'm not going to lie. That was not skill towards the end of that. That was sheer luck. Had he not gone for that, we'd have been deader than the dodo itself. Right. We've done one. Great. How does this thing work? Yeah. Oh, that's not actually that bad. Thank you. <laughs> 1300. Um, right. You may notice my um, VIP points went down because for a very brief period of time, they released a pack that was 2000 VIP points that gave you resources from a 20 or 50,000 one. So it was like one of these and it was giving out, oh, they've done it again. Oh, so what the point was, what I was doing previously is I was getting more VIP points and just doing this. So as you can see, packs like these are good because they're giving you more than enough resources and it's probably the best deal you can get. So if you haven't already snatched them up when you see them, they're really rare. They pop up occasionally before Ludia fixes them and that's 2,000. Because if you look at the 4,000 as an example, you get nothing. The 2,000, only 2,000. So if you got 100,000, you could get 50 of these packs. And if you get 50, you got a 50% chance of 500 bucks each time. So you, you're laughing. You really are laughing. And then you got 25% of getting a third one. So I'm not going to do the math because it wouldn't work in my brain like that. You are looking at a fairly good chance of getting loads of bucks at the expense of your VIP points, which at this point still really have no use of than getting some exclusive dinosaurs, which aren't always fantastic. Anyway... Hot time discount. Battle team, 10% off. It was 100% off, I almost... Disconnected the game? Okay, it started recording again. It didn't... Okay, right. We are going to end today's video. I don't know what the hell just happened. I disconnected the phone slightly, which I'm sure has not messed the recording up at all. And... <laughs> Anyway, we're going to end the video here. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please smash the like button. It really does mean a lot. Every single like button brings me a slight smile on my face, which ends up meaning I can look like a Cheshire cat, which is always terrifying. Anyway, guys, uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Also, that means a lot to me as well. I'm really just nailing this call to action right now because I'm laughing my butt off at my phone mishap. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and ta-ra!